Welcome to Episode 7 of How to Do Character Voices with the Beginner DM. Today we're going to do a tiefling, which is really not so different from just a human, but we're going to add a bit of a flair to it. When I picture a tiefling, I usually picture a character that's kind of a warlock or he's got a bit of an edge on his shoulder. You know, wherever he goes, people are looking at him and they judge his appearance because he looks like a demon. So to really accentuate that kind of character, I often think of tieflings a bit as sort of like misunderstood characters. And something you can convey is you can convey a bit of that appearance in the voice. If I were to voice act a tiefling, I personally would do something a bit more constricted and maybe on the lower side, a bit more breathy, but kind of quiet and elegant in how they talk. This video is going to kind of reinforce the four basic elements that we are going to use to create um, interesting and different uh, personalities through your voice. And those four elements are speed, how fast and abrupt is your character talk, Pitch, do they have a high or low pitch or somewhere in between? Breathiness, does your character push out a lot of breath in how they talk or are they really constricted? Loudness, is your character loud or is it on the softer side? To start off with, how does your tiefling sound when he or she talks? Is he or she really fast and abrupt with how they talk or are they a lot more slow and more relaxed? Slow doesn't necessarily mean dumb. It can mean careful with your words. And then what's your character's pitch? Is he a bit on the lower side, careful with his words, or perhaps the higher side, careful with how he talks? And then breathiness. Is your character on the low side being constricted, or is he on the high side of being breathy? And then... Loudness. Is your character loud? Does he always have something to say? Or is he on the softer side? Perhaps not wanting to be heard. And then finally, does your character sing a bit as he talks? Does he kind of go from a low pitch to a bit of a higher one and then back down? That kind of a journey can help convey more character as it's needed. So take a moment and think about your tiefling and how you want your tiefling to sound. Is your tiefling fast, slow, high, low, breathy, constricted, soft, loud? Take a moment and write down or, or think about what you want your tiefling to sound like in these categories. You know, given that they've got a bit of that infernal ancestry, I try to incorporate a little bit of how I would do demons into uh, a tiefling a little bit. And what that sounds like to me is a character that's very slow and careful with how he talks. He's a bit on the lower side, very slow and careful with how he speaks. And then he's a little bit constricted as well. You can hear that just a little bit rather than breathy. Although, if he's whispering, he certainly can be breathy. But there's that little bit of constriction that adds to the character. And he's very soft as well. He's not trying to be loud. He's very soft. And he sings just a little bit, going from a high to a low, to a low to a high, and back again, kind of conniving and thinking about what he has to say. He might sound threatening, but he might mean well, or he might just be exactly how he sounds. So take a moment to think about what your tiefling sounds like. This is how I do mine, but yours will likely be very different. And of course, you can, if it's just a, like a regular NPC, you can dial it back a little bit, you know. Maybe he's a little bit more normal and not so sounding like an actual monster. Maybe he's just a regular old man trying to make a living in a very tough life. And because of his infernal ancestry, he's gone everywhere and been hunted down, judged, and seen as this monster when he's not. When really, he's just a different color with 
horns growing out of his head as a genetic predisposition to having horns. And of course, there's the jokes about him having horns that people make. And it's somewhat cringe, but we make those jokes anyway. That's kind of how I picture uh, a tiefling. Of course, you can do so many different variations of that. So many different variations. Um, like, just look at Jester from Critical Role. Super bubbly, happy um, character that's a tiefling. You know, got horns and all that. And Infernal Ancestry and Hellish Rebuke and, scream, and can scream at characters demonically. How you do your tiefling is up to you. This is just a personal um, way that I tend to do that character. So practice that, have fun with that, bring that to your table, and have a good time. Happy voice acting. Stay awesome.